So part one of this tutorial involved me creating a 3D model um, on a Georgian style room. Uh, part two is about creating an elevation from that 3D model. I've already created the elevation here. This is one that I've, I've, I've already previously done. And I'm going to show you how to do that um, from scratch. Okay, so this is the perspective view of the 3D model. Um, I have created a section cut. I'm just going to zoom out and show you that. So that I can see that wall. Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a section cut now. First of all, what I need to do is get, is get rid of that section cut so you can't see it anymore. So that I can show you how to do it. So what you do is um, go to Tools, Section Plane. Select the area where you want to insert the section plane and then click and it'll show you the section plane here this is the orange one you select that so that it turns blue and then you select the move tool and push forward so that it is uh, selected I'm going to unselect section plane because I don't want to see that I want to see the model but I keep section cut active because I want to see the cut the section plane is the tool that you use in order to achieve a section cut. Now I'm also going to show you how to set up a scene. It's very important um, that you know how to do that. A scene will allow you to have a certain view or an angle of a model um, and you can create a number of different scenes so that you can have various uh, views of a, of a model. So let's, so I'm just, I'm just going to click on this again because this is the original scene that I had set up and I'm going to select a new scene. So I'm going to do Window, Scenes, select the cross to add a new scene. It's doing that now. This will, this will be selected in blue once it has carried out that request. Okay, so that's done now. Um, by default, it's just going to remain the same as the scene previous to it. But let's just say I want to put a different perspective on that, like this. I would then right click and select update. So I'll show you what that means. I'll go into scene two and that was how it was originally. I click scene three and now it's showing you a different perspective. It just, it all, it just means that you'll always be able to get the, the right angle that you've set up that you, that, that's, that's preferred for yourself. So anyway, I'm going to go back into scene two and I'm going to create um, an elevation of this. So you go to camera, parallel projection, and standard views is it's going to be the front. If I selected back, it's going to give me that view from the outside, which is what I don't want. So I'll just select front again. Originally, this was shown as blue. Um, I spoke previously about faces being created in SketchUp blue uh, each face has a different color each side of the face so if the front is blue and the back is white for the purposes of an elevation I don't want that to show as blue I want to show it as white so I'm just going to reverse the face um, I also want to get this ready for export to layout um, and obviously I don't want it to have guidelines showing and I don't want to have the axis showing and I don't want to have the background showing. So what I'm going to do is go into Styles and then Edit. And first of all, I'm going to amend how the line types are showing because they're quite dark and the endpoints, etc., are showing as well. And you'll see what I mean when I deselect that. Okay. Um, the endpoints are really just very useful for when you're actually creating and building the model. And my laptop is playing up something shocking tonight. Then the extensions, I don't want those for the final elevation. I'll show you what the difference if you deselect profiles. But I kind of want the profiles on to show definition, but I don't want them strong. So I'm going to put in one. Uh, this symbol appears to prompt you to update that. 
So you, you have to make sure that you select that every time you make a change. Then what I want to do is go in here to get rid of this background color. And I'm just going to slide this along to white. And you'll see that, that has changed. And obviously this part here, I don't want this to show either as a color. So I'm going to change that to white. And that's gone as well. And then just update that. Then I'm going to remove the guides and the model axis. I'm going to keep the section cut there because I want to see that. I don't want, if, if I select that, then I'm not going to see the actual elevation and then update and another little trick is these curtains are actually void so if I select the paintbrush or the paint bucket tool and then the sample paint to select that material I'm going to edit I can reduce the opacity on that so that it looks as though it's it, it's foil you know it, it's slightly transparent And that's basically it, that, that's your elevation. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you here how to print this to scale. Uh, part three is going to be showing you how to export it to layout. So you're going to file, print setup, make sure that you have the proper printer selected. I'm just going to use the default and the page size. It's very important uh, that you have this information correct. Uh, especially if you're going to print a scale and then landscape and then okay and then I'm going to go into print preview and on select fit to page on select use model extends and you'll see that this area um, is highlighted this is the area that you need to focus on to print a scale so in the printout it's going to be one and I want it to a scale of one one hundred just make sure that you have the units correct as well and then OK and you'll see here that that's how it's going to print out to that scale if I wanted to change that I would go into print preview again and then amend that let's say to 150 and then OK and that's how it's going to print out um, on a page an A3 page at a scale of 150 so the part three, I'll be talking about how to export this to layout. Um, thanks for watching.